Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. In this tutorial we'll be using the Easy Tools script, which is free to download. So let's start. Import the files you need into After Effects. You can download the project files and the templates separately, this way you will be able to create this awesome transition even if you don't want to download my template. You can find both links in the description. Create a new composition and name it, Zoom Wave Transition. I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels preset, with 30 frames per second, and 2 seconds long. Select the Ellipse tool. Set the fill to none. Set the stroke to solid color. I'm using a white color, and 10 pixels width. Hold your shift button pressed, and draw a circle. Move its anchor point to the middle. And align it centrally. Click on ellipse 1, ellipse path 1. And change the size values to 1080. Move to 8 frames, and create a marker here. Double click it, and write in its comment box, cut. As you can already guess, this will be the cut point of our transition. Open stroke 1. Change the stroke width to 240, and create a keyframe here. Open the scale properties, create a keyframe and change the scale values to 23%. Apply the fast blur effect to this layer. Change the blurriness to 82, and create a keyframe. Select the shape layer, and reveal all its properties with keyframes. Move to 1 second and 20 frames. Change the stroke width to 64. the blurriness to 325 and the scale values to 200% select these three keyframes and easy ease out them open the graph editor right click on it and select edit value graph from the list grab this handle and drag it down until you create a curve like this Then, grab these two handles, and drag them up like this. Change your graph editor back to edit speed graph. Apply the glow effect to your shape. Change the threshold to 0%. The glow radius to 625. And the intensity to 12. Apply a new glow effect. Change its threshold to 0%. The glow radius to 428. And the intensity to 0. This is how your animation should look. Select the shape layer, pre-compose it, and name the new composition, Ring. Make it invisible, and check this box here. Bring the footage into your composition. Move to the cut point. And change the top layer start time here. Create a new adjustment layer. Change its end point here. Rename it blur. Search for Radial Blur, and apply it.
create a keyframe on a mount. Move to 4 frames, and change its value to 0. Change type to zoom, and anti-aliasing, to high. Create a new adjustment layer. Move to 8 frames. Change its endpoint here. Rename it, distort in. Search for optics compensation and apply it. Select the reverse lens distortion box. Change the field of view to 150, and create a keyframe. Move to 4 frames and change its value to 0. Reveal the properties with keyframes. Select them and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change the curve like this. Search for bulge, and apply it. Change both horizontal and vertical radius values to 1140. The taper radius to 115. Move to the first frame. Change the bulge height value to 0, and create a keyframe. Move to 5 frames, and change the value to 2.3. Move to 8 frames, and change the value back to 0. Reveal the properties with keyframes. Select all the bulge keyframes, and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change these curves like this. Create a new adjustment layer. Change its start point here. Rename it, scale out. Search for transform, and apply it to your layer. Unselect the use compositions shutter angle box. Change the shutter angle to 180. Create a keyframe on the scale, and change its value to 250. Move to 13 frames, and change the scale value to 130. Then move to 1 second and 20 frames, and change the scale value to 100. Reveal the keyframes, select only these two, and easy ease them. Create a new adjustment layer. Move to 8 frames, change its start point here. Rename it, distort out. Search for optics compensation and apply it. Select the reverse lens distortion box. Change the field of view to 125, and create a keyframe. Move to 1 second and 20 frames and change its value to 0. Reveal the properties with keyframes. Select them and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor. Grab this handle, and drag it down like this. Search for caustics, and apply it. Change the bottom to none. In the water section, change the water surface to the ring layer we've created earlier. Move to 8 frames. Change the wave height to 0.5, and create a keyframe. Move to 19 frames, and change its value to 0.761. Reveal the keyframes. Select the wave height keyframes and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change its curve like this.
change the smoothing to 50. The water depth to 0. Create a keyframe on refractive index, and change its value to 2. Move to 1 second and 13 frames, and change the value to 1. Reveal the keyframes. Select the refractive index keyframes and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change its curve like this. Change the surface opacity to 0. Open the lightning section. Change the light intensity to 0. The light height to 0. Don't worry if you will see that this value becomes 0.001. Also, change the ambient light to 0. Open the material section. Change the diffuse reflection to 1. And the specular reflection to 0. Bring the sound effect into your composition, and you are done. Let's see the result. Wow, it really is awesome. As you can see, this beautiful transition is quite complex, and it is not as easy to use at any time you want. The fastest way to do this, is to render all the transitions you need separately, then import them in your project and place them on top of your footage, right in the place where your cut point is. I know it is time consuming, but the result is awesome as you can see. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to create a zoom wave transition in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions on my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.